Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Jackie and Stefana. We are mm -hmm. back. Yep. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, back Monday, 5 p.m. Actually, it's 5.05. Had some tech issues as we were getting on, but we are looking forward to chopping it up with you guys today and sharing a few things on how to connect with friends, family, and other couples during the stay at home period. Because that's helpful to your marriage, too. Yep. And I just seen uh, that not every state was on a shutdown or stay at home order. So mm -hmm. I think South Carolina just went on official, uh, which is where I went to college. So that stood out to me. But um, it's interesting that I felt like everybody's been on it, but right. it's just been us. So now we're just trying to, so other couple, other states may have been like, man, we're still connecting with people, but we haven't been connected with people until recently. So we want to figure out how you guys can stay connected, stay in contact with friend, uh, family, friends, and other couples during this time period. How, how right. like, what's up with some double dates? That's right. Who's down for some double dates? Let us know in the comments. When you join us, if you are down to do some double dating, we are down. Let us know. So as you join in here uh, to answer that question, uh oh, we're not live here, I don't think. Hold on. It says we're live. Are you on our Facebook page? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we are. All right, cool. All right, so uh, yeah, if you're down with double dating, let us know in the couple uh, in the comment section. Say, hey, this is whoever you are, and we're down for a virtual double date. <laughs> See My, we... um, our ten year old told us yesterday as we started talking about some things that we're planning that we're going to talk to you about today. Um, he was like, "Mom, these are things that we can keep doing after the shutdown." Yep. I said, "You're I right, like buddy." It. All right, so let me check. We share some of that stuff uh, while I check to make sure systems are going in the right place. Share some of what stuff. Uh, share the video with your. Uh, I did. Oh, you did. All right. Oh, you're fast. All right. So we're good here. We're live on Facebook. We are officially live. Is that right? We are. We are. All right. Yep. We're good to go. All right, y'all. So welcome again. If you are down with a virtual double date, say hey in the comments and let us know. Say I'm down. We're down. <laughs> and let's have some fun. But today we are talking about how do we connect with family outside of our household, mm -hmm. friends and other couples, uh, thus double dating, uh, during COVID-19, during a stay-at-home period, your quarantine, whatever you want to call it. So today we want to share, uh, first we want to talk about how that is necessary. Yeah, I think that, okay, we're on what, like week three of Indiana mm -hmm. being in the stay-at-home order. So the first week, it was kind of, you know, the novelty of it. It was nice to be able to work from home and to be able to have the family at home and to be able to um, not have the commute time so you're able to get more projects done and so forth. So that was the novelty the first week of it. Then I think week two, it was like, okay, we need to figure out some survival methods in here. Let's figure out how we can thrive and not just survive through the COVID-19. And now we're in week three and we're realizing, okay, now we need to work on fellowship right. like not just be quarantined with our five but let's reach out to other people and see how we can create some sense of normalcy of this time of being shut down so, right 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 here we are so one thing that happened recently and i didn't realize how much uh even you know i i am of all five of us probably the one that is the most cool with just staying at home mm -hmm. i've learned during this time period that i am a big homebody and you ain't got to tell me if there's a stay at home order. I'm good. I don't have to be told that. Uh, <laughs> I don't have to be told that I need to get out of the house sometimes. So uh, that's real, been real comfortable for me. But the other day, uh, we set up a, um, a Zoom call or Zoom meeting with the youth baseball team that I coach. And so 10 year old kids, 12 of us, uh, 12 of them. Well, I guess I count myself as a big kid. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so we got together and we did Zoom. And I got off the call and I told Steph and I was like, dang, I did not realize how much I missed those guys. And that's 10 year old. So let alone adult to adult conversation and connection and things like that. So it made me, and I know the kids missed them too. I know uh, Joshua who's on the team misses his, his buddies and his teammates. So it made me think it's like, man, what, what can we do? And how can we do uh, more of this, even though we're not able to go outside the house and do it? What can we do here? So we got a few ways to yep. share that too. If you are not the homebody and, you, and you've got to connect, I've seen so many creative ways We've done a few and we got some ideas in addition to that that we want to share. Yeah, so that good. Hold on before we get started. Uh, if you missed the first, uh, if you missed the opening, 
we we're talking about sharing, uh, if, do you want a double date, a virtual double date? So we're looking at maybe doing some virtual double dates. If you're down with a virtual double date, say your name and your, or your spouse's name, say hey to us in the, in the chat and say we're down. So we can see who's down with a double date, see what we can do from there. That's right. All right. You good? Yep. So the first idea that we have actually tried and it went over pretty well is we had a virtual dinner. So we decided about a week ago that we were going to do a Sunday dinner with our parents. So get the grandparents on Zoom. That was the first feat. <laughs> that, that was a big, that was, you go keep going. That was the biggest feat <laughs> was to just get them on Zoom. So we did, we, we accomplished it. It didn't happen at the exact hour that we set out to do, but we all ended up on the Zoom. <laughs> we will try again and try to improve each time. But um, yeah, that was absolutely wonderful. We had dinner with our parents um, on Sunday yesterday yeah. and um, the kids got to see their grandparents because that's pretty hard for us right now. Like Jackie's parents live really close to us. We haven't seen them and been with them and we are used to being with them regularly yeah, with all yeah. of the kids sports and stuff so that's been difficult and we don't know how long it's going to last right. so instead of just continuing out this you know isolation from each other we decided let's find a way that we can be together as much as we can and right now that's zoom yeah yeah and it, and it was a little bit better than just like a, a regular old facebook or facetime call because uh, we do try to do that on a regular basis uh, typically what happens, somebody's on there to say, hey, and then they're out, you yeah. know, the kids bouncing out to go play their games, my parents bouncing out so they can go watch politics or whatever it may be. Yeah. So we figured, well, let's break bread together virtually. And so that way, it's just like a, a regular meal. You're not only just talking to each other, but you're talking about the meal, you're talking over the meal, somebody is eating while everybody else is talking. So yeah. you're not expecting to look in the camera and have a conversation that nonstop. constantly goes back and forth nonstop. So it eased uh, us into that. Uh, there was some, some, uh, hiccups at first, uh, after the about 15 minutes of fussing back and forth with my dad about trying how to get set up with Zoom, uh, then, then we were able to enjoy and sit down and, and, and gather with each other. So that was cool. So now what we've done, we did it with our parents. Now we've reached out to several other couples and some friends of our kids who were friends with their parents as well and say, hey, let's have a family dinner. Yep. So I think we got like the next Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, the next two Tuesdays and Thursdays filled up, right? Yep. So I'm <laughs> excited. That's what our 10 year old was saying. Mom, we can continue to do this even after the shut in is done, which is true. Like we don't see them as often as we like to. So this is a way that if we can't actually go to each other's house in the future for whatever reason, we can ask them if they want to Zoom and have, have we all are going to have dinner at some point right. and we're all going to be together. So let's do that together. So we're excited for that. Yeah, yeah. So we are, um, we're going to do more of those. Uh, and we also, we'll, we'll share more of this about this later, but we want to do a double date with some folks that we are connected with too in our, in our Happy Married Couples Facebook group. So cool. Next, oh, this is what we did on the, um, I mentioned the Zoom call with our uh, travel baseball team that I coach. And I started, I was like, okay, we got 12, we got 12 10 year olds that we're going to get mm -hmm. on here on Zoom, which I don't know how many of them, they maybe have used Zoom for their um, school or something like that. But I don't know how that's going to flow with 12 of them on here trying to connect. They haven't seen each other in a month. Most of them haven't. So I was like, what can we do? So I found this idea a while back, about two weeks ago, actually. It's a really good idea. And it was a scavenger hunt on the Zoom call. Mm -hmm. So we were a baseball team. So what we did, I created a point system. It was like one point for finding item, baseball related items, A, B, C. Three points for items, D, E, F. Five points for the next three items. All the way until we got like, like 15 points was like the high end, like an autograph card or St. Louis Cardinal sack, because that's my favorite team. So I made them all get a St. Louis Cardinals hat if they had one. So we did that and that was how we started the meeting. And so we could have some sort of games with other families or a double date idea like that. Um, it works well with a bigger crowd. And literally we set it up. So we said, oh, you got two minutes to go do this. Two minute break. I said, go, I put my timer on and you should have seen the kids and parents and siblings <laughs> running off screen, coming back, drink, bragging stuff, dropping it there, getting baseball bats, baseball bags, uh, full catcher's gear. 
signed autographed cars and all kinds of stuff. So we that went over really, really it well. Did. And it was a great way to connect, especially if you got younger kids and you want to have one of these uh, virtual family dinners or just gatherings with friends and family. But I thought that was something to kind of break the ice, also get them not just staring at each other on the screen and talking over each other because everybody was talking at first. Right. Um, and then when they got back on, I muted everybody out except for one person, let that person share what he got, added his points, next, went to the next person. Yeah, they were really excited about that and really in, inquiring about who got the most points at the end. <laughs> and they, they had so much stuff, I couldn't even add all the points up. I was like, you know what, I can't, I'm be honest, I can't add them up, but based on the list that uh, player A brought or player whatever he was, he won because he had a long, long list of stuff, but it, mm -hmm. it was fun. Uh, good way to, to interact and stuff. So try that out. We're just calling it a, a virtual scavenger, scavenger hunt. hunt. Um, yep. if, and I can share in the chat like the little scaling system that I use just so it gives you a, some people a visual. So you might need to see that, um, but thought it was yeah, good stuff. That was good. Another game that you can play online that we just learned from our daughter, and I'm not going to be able to explain to you how to play it because we've not played it. But and she just gave us this long explanation that she was expecting us to explain to y'all right now. And I was like, no, <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. So she says the name is called Code Names. And she said that if you just Google Code Names, it'll explain to you how to play it. Um, but she is a freshman in college. And so to find something that that age group is interested in playing online is, you know, kind of challenging you know to find something that they will put their own device away for to get on on camera and interact with a group of people to do so that might be something we'll try as a family too code names hold on we'll jump in the chat real quick um carrie reese said uh, uh she tagged somebody else and said we need to talk our men into a virtual double date that's right <laughs> sounds fun this sounds fun there shouldn't be much talk it's like look we're gonna hang out have fun you get to see such and such mention the other husband Tell them to come in the group and we'll hype it up. So that way they want to join. They'll feel like they're missing out on something and we got them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let us know where we at right now. We, we shared three ideas, virtual dinners, uh, Zoom or video chat scavenger hunt. Yep, you guys let us know what you all have done because I've seen so many creative ideas out here that people are doing um, via Zoom that we might want to implement. And I'm sure there's somebody else in the in the group that would benefit from you sharing. Yep. So. Give a shout out to everybody I've seen that just recently joined Carrie, Katie, and Tony Baker. What's up, Tony Bape? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where we at, babe? I'm lost. I got uh, sidetracked. <clears throat> oh, you want to share that one? Yep. So another thing that we've done recently is our daughter had a- She's been um, coming through in the clutch with ideas. She so. really has. <laughs> uh, she had a magician. She set up a 20-minute call on Zoom with a magician that she saw do some a show for her in her crew ministry, which is over a year ago. Um, and he taught us magic tricks. And so we all five sat on a couch in front of the camera and learned some tricks that we all can actually use. Right. So that we should have did that with the um, grandparents yesterday, but we were having oh, a yeah, hard was, enough time no, getting them, no. <laughs> <laughs> getting them to hear us. So anyway, um, magic tricks is something that you can get on, do something like a class or, you know, something where you can enrich your knowledge yeah. about something and um, do it together on the, on the Zoom. Yeah, so you can learn the magic tricks. You can uh, call up your friends, double date, whatever, and then you can just wow them with all your magic trick skills. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and there's no funny, no funny TV or uh, video editing because it's all live. Get on there live with Zoom and show them how you do it. So that we should have did that today. Yeah, that was fun. All they right. even had our 10 year old show him the magic trick so once he taught it he had him show him how to do it so that was pretty cool yeah and just in all transparency it was four out of five of us that was not trying to sit down in front of zoom and watch some magician show us some tricks on zoom four we out of five or one out of five you too you were not no. <laughs> <laughs> you, four out of five was, one... was in the middle of already doing some stuff and was like I'm, it was was it sunday no, there was one out of five of us that just kept questioning the calendar appointment. Who is this that I have a meeting on my calendar with and keep sending me reminders? Who is so-and-so? No, no, no. Here's how it went down. <laughs> so I'm getting these emails from this dude talking to me like I know him, like to my personal email address that nobody has other than family <laughs> and friends. And so I'm thinking like, who is this dude that's email? And I had been getting emails maybe for a week or so in advance. I'm thinking like, then I looked at the last email reminder and it was, it had her, she was copied. Our daughter was copied. I'm like, 
who is this dude? <laughs> <laughs> so right then I had already rubbed rub me the wrong way because I'm like, he was invading my email box, mm -hmm. inbox. I'm like, who is it? And so now it comes up and I look at the last reminder. It's like, this is event is taking place in two hours. And I'm like, in the middle of a just chill. Was that, that was Saturday, right? I don't remember. You yeah, know, Saturday because we did the. Um... Hey, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Saturday. And so here he pops up. And so four out of five of our household really wasn't trying to do it. The one that was trying to do was our daughter. But once we jumped on there and we engaged, uh, it actually got pretty fun. So I'm, I'm glad we did it. It was a good break because other than that, we weren't doing nothing. I was, I was not not looking forward to it. I don't know where you get that four out of five. Mm. <laughs> we're gonna leave that uh, peggy said a double date that would be fun she was responding to uh, carrie who tagged her so we're expecting carrie and peggy and your husbands to do a double date and you guys tell us about it in the group at some yeah, point yeah take a future. picture of it yes take a picture and, and screenshot send it to that us. yeah <laughs> all right so do we where are we at all right we got 520 um i saw something that i wanted to engage with it just gone away all right so oh real quick for you guys that are new I uh, have never been on one of our lives or don't know who we are. Uh, we're Jackie and Stefana, founders of Happily Married Couples. And the best place to engage with us and other couples, as we're talking about basically being uh, reducing that social distance using the virtual means, is to join our Facebook group, Happily Married Couples. The group in Facebook is there. So jump there. That's where we will start the conversations many times. Uh, all these videos will be there and we got some other fun stuff that we're coming up. So make sure you join the conversation there. We do fun posts on Friday. What else do we do? Date night posts. Yeah, we've had lots of um, date night posts. What we would love for you to do is let us know what you want to talk about in here because mm -hmm. yeah. we it's so much more fun when we get you guys to engage with us um, in the conversation. And um, so let us know what would be fun to talk about, what is difficult for you right now during this time. Mm -hmm. Uh, we really do just want to be a um, a blessing right now during this time right. that we're all kind of stuck and just want to help our marriages to continue to thrive as we are going through a season that none of us have ever yeah. experienced before. It can be tough, but it can also be good. So we want to help it to be good. Yeah, it's not all fun and games. Uh, so we're having fun today and talking about some fun stuff, but there's, there's some real topics that we address who, here as well on these Facebook Lives. And we want to cover them um, as, as best we can and share, you know, what God has done in, in our relationship, what we know, what we're learning and seeing from other couples. But we're learning on the go during mm -hmm. this period right now. And it takes couples coming together in community, even though we can't physically be in community like that, to share ideas, to walk each other through it, to encourage uh, and just help us. You know, iron sharpens iron. So we want, we're, going, we're going to do our part uh, to do that, help, to, um, help you stay connected give us communication tips and just help you to our goal when we started these almost three weeks ago now yeah. was to make sure that we as couples don't just survive COVID-19 but we thrive through it and we create new practices new habits new ways of relating that will last past this and ultimately grow our marriages closer to one another so yeah. that's what we're here to do yep so every Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. join us live right here yep we're about to wrap up um, anything else that we that, that we shared uh, we do want to know your ideas, what you've done. Put it in the in the um, comments section so we can share it. Um, go share through the video. Yes, yeah, show. Yeah, definitely share the video. If you know another couple that you want to invite to a double date, share this video with them. Uh, be sure to like it and um, look for um, see us in the in the group. If you join the group because you saw one of these videos, once you get in there, give us a shout. I was like, hey, we saw your Facebook live, uh, so we would have joined the group. And we'll give you a shout back. And then also scroll through those other videos and see some of the other topics that we talk about money um, and marriage during this time, mm -hmm. um, just ways to, to connect. What else have we talked about? Date, stay at home, date night ideas, all of that. Yep. Hey, Nicole. What's up, Nicole? All right. I think we're about to wrap it up, y'all. That was a quick 30 minutes. Yep. Well, a little bit less than 30, but we want to make sure we're, so those who are new, uh, we'll be on here at least 20 minutes starting at five. We won't be on here past 530. Uh, so we want to, we basically want to, you guys to use us as your break in the day from the virtual work day to now that at home with your family, whatever you do for the rest of the night. Uh, sometimes you need a breather. Sometimes you need your favorite drink, coffee, drink, soda, water, whatever else you want to drink, your favorite snack, grab it with your spouse. If, if uh, he or she is available, if not grab it and just unwind, enjoy, get some tips for your marriage and keep moving. That's all right. All right, y'all. It is a wrap. Yep. Have a good evening and we will see you tomorrow at five. See you guys.